Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and uh, I got a bit of a challenge here today because usually I feel like I'm up against it when I play games, you know, because of who I am as a person. Uh, but this game is called Good Company, which kind of hits me from two angles because I had a company before a shop that I had to sell and also I've been told I'm not very good company. All right, I'd stop bringing up the potato famine if you knew more about it. Ah! All right, let's get started. Okay, company name, the potato <laughs> famine. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming back, everyone. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Everyone Irish must hate me. Explains why there's very little people from Ireland who watch me. Like, as a percentage, it's really small. <laughs> what most looks like a potato? That? <laughs> I guess. If only it was my brain. My brain resembles a potato. Nice and smooth. That's a good logo. I'd enter the shop or warehouse or whatever it might be. Back alley. And my name will be Potato. <laughs> Is this just my way of saying I am hungry? <laughs> oh, I was about to say that I won't have any companion because, you know, that's that's fitting. But this guy's kind of cute. I don't think I can resist. I'm going to call him bad ideas because, you know, the light bulb. <laughs> Every time I have an idea, it's usually a bad one. So <laughs> that is pretty fitting. Good Lord, that potato is thick. <laughs> I hope they don't charge by weight because that's enough to feed a whole family. What am I talking about? Kevin, stop talking. My person looks like they're wearing a disguise for some reason. <laughs> and now they're sunburned. <laughs> All right, let's go potato potato and bad ideas. <laughs> it kind of makes sense because you get potato, you get bad ideas, potato famine. <laughs> it all just makes sense. You've been hired by the Federal Bureau of Industries to get the local economy back on track. <laughs> Why would you hire me? <laughs> I, I could have go work in my house now. This is where I'm going to start my business <laughs> after the day want me to get the entire economy back on track. I'm like, I better start a home business. I can sell essential oils. Okay, I just ordered a load of this stuff. Thank you, employee. Who even are you? Well, I'm firing you. I don't even remember hiring you, so you're gone. Goodbye. <laughs> He's the first day of work he just started unpacking stuff and i'm like i don't like your body language uh oh i'm on the tutorial part and i can't actually hire anyone i don't think oh no wait hold on i got it it's just gonna cost me some money i'll hire jesus can i just hire like a load of people even though this is the tutorial this should fix the local economy i'm hiring everyone in town <laughs> Oh God, there's not even enough space for us here. I hope they aren't supposed to be social distancing in this game. All right, guys, get to work. They're like, what do we do here? That's not the point of this business. <laughs> We're fixing the economy here. All right, what does the tutorial want me to do? A place to sell order for a case. Okay, hold on. There we go. Look, I'm selling this. Good job, everyone. We're making profit. Someone whispers to another employee. I don't think this guy knows what profit is. <laughs> Look, there's a reason my store failed, okay? We're learning that now. I've often blamed it on getting mowed down by a car, but that is that is just a, a small piece of the puzzle. <laughs> you can see our history. It just takes a massive dive. Oh, no. Well, this is what the potato famine does. It's in the feckin' name. All right, what's my next thing? Place a thinker table. I don't know if I have enough money. All right, we got another table. That means two of you can work at the same time. Why do you all have this Z thing over your head? You literally do not work. How are you tired? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> See the button in the top right-hand corner called quick hire? <laughs> I don't think we want to do that. Oh, no, we've hired someone. Fantastic. Your first prop. Higher. Are you saying the rest weren't proper? How's everyone doing? You enjoying your first day on the job? Sorry about the uh, lack of bathrooms. <laughs> There's just so many of you. There didn't seem like there was any point because there'd be a queue out the door. Wait, am I still buying things? Oh no, I've been buying things constantly. My money is running out. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, no, no. All right, well, buy more stuff. May as well go all in now. I need some of these to make batteries. Look how much plastic I bought for no reason. I nearly have as much plastic as employees. <laughs> That's saying something. You, sir, would you like a job? <laughs> Just shouting over the hedges. I'm here to fix the economy. <laughs> Come here. I got some job opportunities in my van. You know what this reminds me of? The, that Sims Online game where there was just lines and lines of table and people just grinding skills and me annoying them. <laughs> Could you all please stop whistling? Trolls. <laughs> You're the troll. All right, there we go, people. We have enough tables for nine of you. That leaves nearly half the workforce with a job. All right, I'm actually going to assign like all of these desks to be worked on to see if we can get out of this massive debt because I'm actually afraid of the potato famine right now and what's happening to them. Like, I mean, the company. As an Irish person, I am in constant fear of a potato famine. Oh, no, they want me to place a different type of table. I didn't know there'd be more to this. 
Oh, man. <laughs> All right, hold on. I can place it here. It's just a little bit in the way. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make calculators. This is gonna be awesome. We're gonna have so many calculators. What do you need? Oh, yeah, you need electronic parts. <laughs> you can't just make a calculator out of plastic. I mean, you can, but it won't really help you, will it? All right, electronic parts. Yeah, buy, buy those. All right, we are flying high now. The potato famine is back and fiercer than ever. <laughs> Wait, they're trying to make me make it myself. No, I don't want to. Someone else can make the calculator. That's why I'm the big boss man. God damn it. I'm trying to like <sighs> spy on them to see if they're doing a good job. But every time I try and sneak up on them, the clap of my ass <laughs> is alerting all the staff. Is my storage full? No, we're okay. Um, Add a rule and we'll sell calculators. If you'll feckin' make them, what's wrong with you? Oh, I need to do it myself. Are you serious? Like, what's the point in hiring 300 employees <laughs> if I gotta do it myself? I like how they brought me in to fix the economy. In one afternoon, I'm minus 18 grand. Oh, I just fired someone by accident. Oh my god, now we're understaffed. <laughs> What was that? Or are you trying to help me? Reducing their walk times. <laughs> it's all right. They'll get around. It's not that big of a place. Okay, I'm carrying like our entire stock on my person. Can I now make the thing? Why can I not make the thing? Oh, wait, I'm missing this. The LED array. Hold on. <laughs> Is no one making the LED arrays? Hold on. Let me let me figure this out. But you're meant to be. Why are you not making it? God, we really are understaffed, aren't we? I need one plastic, one single cell battery and an uh, LED array. I've got them all. Yes, I'm making calculators. <laughs> <laughs> I like his arm movement. He's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just making calculators. <laughs> okay, guys, it's been hard work. We've wasted $24,000 and I've hired about 30 employees. But this is it. We're finally going into profit. I have made one calculator. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Another company has dug itself out of a difficult situation. No, I've actually dug myself into a difficult situation. Do I continue? this one or do I go back to campaign map? Let's let's go back to campaign and see what the next opportunity is. I guess I got a government grant after I assume inventing the calculator because just making one and shipping it out isn't that impressive. <laughs> What's this? Charlie's Sounds Inc. is closing down. Not on my watch. Your dad worked at Charlie's for decades. There's no way you can let it go under. Time to step in. All right, I'm on it. This is my dad. Well, I have some questions for you. Firstly, how is this business failing? And secondly, why would you call me potato father? <laughs> what have I done to make you hate me. I don't know what I'm doing here. They're asking me to just sort of their courier routes and I don't know anything about logistics. Okay, there we go. I've created a route between them. An employee. Go on, Jody. You can do it. In fact, I'll give you some help. There you go. There's some employees for you. There you go. Look at that. Conquer, conquer, conquer. We have a fun workplace, don't we, guys? <laughs> it's like three boxes. They're just coming back with nothing on the trays. Oh, skeleton. These are the previous employees. I'm creating a skeleton maze. <laughs> there you go. Be free, everybody. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Let's put down a little rug as well. Dress up the place. Oh, and some floating portraits. Victorian lamps for a bit of class. Um, now, what was I actually supposed to do? I think I was supposed to get like a rack or something. There we go. A small shelving rack. Perfect. Oh, he wanted it next to the assembly table. Okay, well, I'll just put it there. I don't know how to rotate stuff, so you can't use it, but it's there. Okay, the company's struggling a bit. We need Need storage space and we've ran out. I think we're in the wrong market, honestly. Like, we're minus 40,000. Why don't we just sell the skeletons, which we are sourcing for free? Honestly, if I was one of these employees, I'd be a bit worried. <laughs> we have loads of skeletons and, like, clearly an absurd amount of employees. <laughs> hey, do you think we're overstaffed? No, you should have seen us yesterday. We had, like, 50 more people. Anyway, let's get moving these skeletons. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, I think I've helped these people out enough. I think I I'm ready to start my own business. I'm sick and tired of other people reaping the rewards over what me, Potato, does for them. Plus, this company has a lot of skeletons in their closet. I don't want to get caught up in this. They were struggling when I came in, apparently. They had like eight grand. Now they're minus 53 in one afternoon. Well, you know what, Papa? That's what nepotism gets you. Oh, no, I can't do free play until I complete level two and I've made a mess of level two. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to start again over in this little shack over here. I'll ignore the rest. They'll be fine. They're self-sufficient. 
end. Oh my god, when I bring up advisor tips, there's just all these red exclamation marks. I'm gonna ignore that. I'm doing just fine. I have so many employees, yet I'm the one moving components around because they're not doing their feckin' job. I'm gonna blame them, even though it's clearly poor management. <laughs> I'm just not very good at delegating here. When I have my own company, though, I'll I'll micromanage it so bad. Like, they, they will want to die. Like, why is she not going over there for the supplies? She's just standing there. She's like some sort of vampire. She has to be invited to cross the threshold. It's about to say with an attitude like that, you'll never make it in this business. But I think everyone can make it in this business, even if you just refuse to work. Yeah, I'll carry the chemicals. <laughs> I just pick up the chemicals and bring them over. He needs them, okay? Doesn't matter if they're dangerous. Yes, I did it. Look at this. A well-oiled and lubricated greased up machine. <laughs> Capitalism at work, folks. It only took 112 employees, $164,000 in debt, and this absolute mess of a workshop. But we made one cassette player. What do you mean people don't use cassette players? You mean in the time it took us to make that cassette player, they invented an iPod. What is an iPod? <laughs> I'm sure it's just a fad. <laughs> Cassettes will never go out of style. <laughs> to be fair, my guy's definitely stuck in the 80s. Anyway, folks, now that I've uh, set your business off on the right track, now I'm going to go do my own business. Goodbye. Oh, that's not where the exit is. All right, that was... Sorry, excuse me. Hold on. Sorry, I just need to... I just need to scoot past you there. Sorry about the big exit speech there. All right, all right. All right, goodbye. Oh, also can't get out here. Okay, I'll just... I'll just scoot past you there. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about this. Sorry. My Apologies. All right, free play, new game. Oh yes, I'm going down to the beach to make products. We're gonna be in like Silicon Valley, I assume. I I just hear of Silicon Valley. I don't know what it is. I think it's down in Kerry. All right, what are we gonna make? I gotta make a decision here. I'd like to make skeletons, but I don't think that's possible. Plus, I don't think there's a huge market for them right now. All right, by my calculations, calculators are the way forward because I can't calculate anything else. <laughs> but we're gonna make funky ones. Look at that. Everyone will want one of these. This is what the kids will think is cool. Everyone will want them. It's going to be the next fidget spinner. <laughs> Market appeal minus 1.5 out of 5 stars. What? <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm calling a fidget calculator. That should go down a treat with the youth. Oh my god, the design is so inefficient. <laughs> oh my god, it can cost $450. I don't think you need a calculator to calculate that that is a ripoff. I don't think many people are going to be buying this calculator. But then again, it is called fidget calculator. All right, let's make some fidget calculators, everyone. All right, make an LED matrix. They're like, I am not a trained employee. I do not know how to do this. All right, what if I just buy everything I need? Oh, no, I can't. Only base products can be... Oh, no. Okay, I have to actually make these. Oh, well, that means effort. All right, I need metal and I need plastic. All right, there we go. You got some plastic. Now, you make parts. I'm gonna need a lot more employees than this because I don't plan on doing any of this myself. Oh, yeah, sorry. I have no where to store anything. Hold on, bear with me. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to be all greased up in a well-oiled lubricated machine. I'll stop saying lubricated. <laughs> Did someone just sneeze? I, you're not going home. We need you here. <laughs> See, this was what was handy in the other place. We had like 70 employees ready to take their place if someone got sick. All right, starting to feel really lubricated up in here. We got a lot going on and it's just going very, very smoothly. No hitches at all. Soon we'll be making calculators and then we'll be able to add up the numbers and see that we're going into massive death really fast. <laughs> okay, we're just missing the LED matrix and the LED array. Come on. I think she's got a box of them here. Okay, wait. We only need the LED matrix now. Okay, something is going right. Who is making the LED matrix? Wait. Oh, no one is. Oh, who can I blame for this? Um, You, Richard, I am sick of your shit. <laughs> You're out of the job. <laughs> can't believe you didn't correct me. You've no spine at all, Richard. You dick. You can't even give out to me because dick is short for Richard, so. No hate HR for you. <laughs> and that has nothing to do with the fact we don't have a HR department. You're just wrong. Okay, he needs circuit boards. Don't pretend you don't have metal and plastic. I can see there's plenty of metal and plastic. There you go. Maybe we need some more logistics people. We have this one poor woman, <laughs> this middle-aged woman, just hauling all of the equipment all the time. Okay, I'll get you one more <laughs> logistics person. Produce 300 calculators. Yes, I'm committing to that. I think I can do that. I mean, we've yet to make one, but I think once we get the wheels turning, we're going to go straight off a cliff. Uh, we're going to go straight up the... 
we're gonna do it <laughs> my goal at the moment is just sell a product <laughs> we're not doing too well on that goal yet she's making it she's making the calculator good thing you have your hard hat on god you must feel like such a loser you're the only person in here with a hard hat in fact i might just fire you because you're so uncool all right add a rule um where's the calculator fidget calculator and we're gonna sell them look at that our first fidget calculator why is it in such a big box <laughs> god this technology must be old <laughs> Milestone reach. Did I sell something? I sold two calculators. Yes! <laughs> By my calculations, that is a huge success. Unexpected, too. I'm gonna go for a stroll on the beach because I feel like I've earned it. Hey, everyone. Please help me. My business is failing and I feel so overwhelmed. Help me. Help. Don't just run. She's always short at these things. I need some more benches. Yeah, make uh, the Matrix. Yeah, make the Matrix. That profited, didn't it? That was a huge movie. If we get Keanu in here, sell some calculators, do some marketing. I mean, look what he did for cyberpunk my guy's just doing laps he's so anxious all the time he's under so much stress he knows deep down he knows nothing about business and he's in constant fear of another potato famine all right we're still not in profit but i'm gonna up production another assembly line more calculators we have a bit of a storage issue <laughs> she's just standing there waiting to put it on the rack but there's no space maybe i should buy them some more i just want to stop sinking money into this thing i want i want a profit Profit, please. Potato needs this. Look at him. He's devastated. I think we just need more logistics people. I think that's the problem. We're not moving fast enough. Give me three of them. I know this seems overboard, but I just want to be efficient. What are you missing? What? You're missing those. And then if she's going slow, that's because she's missing. Let's see. What? What's she? No, no. She's flying now. She's flying now, lads. She's going to be just fine. There's loads of boxes here. Like, I think they're just not close enough because like, he's just waiting. <laughs> Let me make, uh, I guess, uh, a rack over here or maybe, maybe I could store them here and he'll come over i ah, know he's just being lazy now they're right there and he's not coming to get them okay now we're lubricated verging on greasy uh, this seems to be flying along except for this what, what does he want led arrays who's making the led arrays could you hurry up please this lady please hurry up come on i know you get no time to see your family and no lunch breaks but come on speed things up gonna buy a suggestion box too guys if you want to uh, make a suggestion just uh, drop it over here thank you <laughs> there's so many supplies that are just not being used to for some reason. <laughs> they're just up on the racks and they're just ignoring them. Okay, I've optimized my buying and selling. I'm buying a bit less of supplies, so hopefully we don't run out because we seem to have a massive surplus at all times somehow. Oh my god, we've only sold 41 calculators? I thought we'd almost be complete. The gold bar looked like it was almost full up here. Oh my god, for a brief moment, I think I was profitable. Yes, by $4. <laughs> at one stage, I was profitable. Okay, wages are costing me a bomb. <laughs> The materials are costing me a lot as well. My revenue is... Oh my god, my margin is minus 80%. And growth is minus 1%. All right, I'm going to fire you. <laughs> That'll bring my costs down a bit. I just kind of picked someone random. And the logistics people, I'm going to fire you at random as well. I hope I didn't fire my original one. I want to see how far I can push the human spirit with her. <laughs> oh yeah, it's her, it's her. She's fine. I wonder if I made another assembly desk and we just assembled more and more calculators. Would it work? Because I think we have enough supplies. We definitely definitely have enough come on dude joseph come on there you go there's no way i could make even more is there this is so inefficient like the layout everything about it there's nothing lubricated about this to be honest it's the least greasy machine i've ever seen i'm blocking the doors in case the employees try and leave <laughs> you're not allowed to leave anymore guys your soul is linked to this business it is linked to the potato famine all right i think all the doors are blocked this one maybe okay there we go there we go uh the i think these are just windows aren't they but it's still an escape. I'm making a profit. Oh my God, we're running so efficient. We're constantly running out of metal cases though. I'll hire someone and make them make metal cases. How is he going to get in? Okay, he's not. He's not coming in. Whatever he is, he's, he's not able to get in the building. So I guess no one leaves or enters anymore. We're just shipping out calculators. This building's going to become like a myth, some folklore among the, the villagers. They're never going to see anyone who worked here ever again and calculators are going to be shipping out constantly. Constantly. The thing is, I don't actually know how to move objects because I was trying to move objects earlier because I made it so badly arranged in here. And I, wa I wanted to move some things about to fix it, but I couldn't because I don't know how. So now I can't get any employees. We're just stuck in here. Wait, what the hell? Why have we plummeted in revenue? We're not making any calculators. Why are we not making any calculators? She's holding the metal cases. Oh, we don't have enough storage space. Oh my God. Oh my God. She just stopped working for some reason and halted her whole production. 
just when it was going well. Oh, thank God we've gotten into profit again. Oh, well, that was short lived. I just, just never speak, Kevin. Just never, ever speak. Oh, wait, that's my new employee. She can't get in. <laughs> She's just trapped in the other building. I honestly didn't even know I had another building. Sign of a good business owner. Paying rent for a second building you don't even realize is there. Ah, well, more skeleton storage, I guess. Your company is bankrupt. You have 179 days left. Each day is only 20 seconds. I think I see the writing on the wall. Oh my god. Total cost versus revenue. It, everyone just lost interest in calculators all of a sudden. I guess they just got better at math. What a horrible society to live in. All right, well, you know what? I think I should bail. I should sell the business and leave. It's always a good strategy. Trust me, I've done it in real life. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.